yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Lubrids. The weather was really, really bad earlier, like tropical storm type bad weather. But now, we just have a little overcast with a little bit of sun. It's not even windy, so we're gonna be doing a lot of recording outside. I did have a nice coffee this morning, a nice strong coffee. So I don't want nothing too strong right now. So I'm gonna have this and I just need to keep my caffeine levels elevated enough for the video. So I'm gonna go ground this up. I got a real special video today. I'm gonna be shipping out not one, but two snakes. Two snakes today, so I'll show you which ones they are. Let me just get this brewing and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I wanna make a quick toast to all the snake lovers, all the animal lovers, all the beautiful people, and all these amazing snakes, and that these two babies make it to their destination safely. So here's to all of that. All right, guys, I got my fancy blue gloves on. Now I wanna go outside. We're gonna start off with Xena and Edge's baby, M number four, male number four. Now this was my favorite, or one of my favorites in Xena's clutch from last season. So I'm gonna show you that one first. Then I'm gonna show you the other beautiful Cali King going out. Then we're gonna box them up and head to FedEx. Let's go outside and I'll show you that beautiful baby. All right guys, I'm here with meal number four. This is the first meal that I'm gonna be showing you today. Now this is the male from Xena and Edge's Clutch. Just look how clean and beautiful that pattern is. Look how the whole body, when you look at it as a whole, it's just like an interesting looking maze and just catches my eye now. Now this guy, when he eats, some days he'll eat off the tongue, some days he, he doesn't feel like eating off the tongue. All you gotta do is leave the pinky right there in his bin, come back in about an hour and it's always gone, so he never misses a meal. Just an amazing looking snake. Now I'm gonna put him back in his bin. I'll show you the next snake that's going out today. Then we're gonna pack him up and head to FedEx. Oh, I have to show you Albany, the hold back from this clutch. I'll be right back. So this is Albany, the male I decided to hold back in the clutch. Albinos are my favorite and this one is beautiful. Can't wait to raise them up and introduce them into some breeding programs. Just an amazing looking animal. Alright guys, next up is female number one from Apollo's clutch. <laughs> this little female's just crawling around my face. Really calm for a king snake, a Cali king. These don't bite at all. Of course, anything with a mouth has the opportunity to bite if you provoke it, but uh, for a Cali king, these are pretty calm. Now, these came out a little bit smaller than the babies from Xena and Edge's clutch, and a lot of these didn't want to eat right out of the egg. It took me a couple of weeks to get them going, and then a lot of them just wanted to eat live. So it took me a little while to get them to start eating frozen thawed, which all of them are eating consistently frozen thawed, but that's why these are a little bit smaller than the ones from Xena and Edge's Clutch. And you can see something that really stands out about this girl is that head stamp. It looks like a heart right above its head. Right now it's upside down, but if you put it the other way, it looks like a white heart has nice little eyebrows. Nice pattern, a little polka dot action going there, but look how nice and clean the whites are on this girl. Just a beautiful, nice symmetrical banded snake. So I'm posting this male on Morph Market today. He's one of my favorites in the clutch. I was thinking about holding him back. His whites are super clean. He has a little bit of polka dot pattern going on. He doesn't eat off the tongue, but he does eat frozen thawed every time. You just gotta place the pinky or fuzzy in his bin, close it, 
come back and it's gone. One of my favorites in the clutch. Mail number five, another one of my favorites in the clutch. This was a beautiful clutch. He has a nice white circle above his head stamp and nice white eyelashes right above his eyes. Nice outlines of white. Sometimes he'll eat off the tongue. Sometimes you gotta feed him where you just put the pinky in the bin, come back and it's gone and you could see him handling him. All of these are really calm. I haven't been bitten once. These are just amazing and they're on Morph Market. Now, about a month ago, I recorded this. This was Xena. This is the mom to those babies right before she was about to lay. Right now, we have a bunch of eggs from her. Beautiful, beautiful eggs, a nice clutch, but you could see this was before she laid. She had nice scale separation. One of the cleanest black and white bandy Cali Kings that I've seen, just a gorgeous girl. And before we get to the boxings, I just wanna show you this girl, female number three. She's also available from Apollo's Clutch. Real nice, clean white, a little smaller. She wasn't eating at first, but we got her eating. She's a beauty with a beautiful pattern. All right, guys, this is meal number three from Xena and Edges Clutch. Also available on Morph Market. Nice little eyelashes of white, cool little dots of black above the neck. And then the rest is just a nice, clean, white, banded Cali King. Nice temperament, eating frozen thawed off the tongs. All right, guys. I'm always talking about Xena, the female of that first snake that I showed you. You guys already know Edge. That was the mom and dad of the first snake I showed. Now Apollo, you guys know him, my ink drop male. I always talk about him, but I don't have a name for this girl yet, and I never really show you her. So this is the mom of the snake I just showed you from Apollo. This is the girl that Apollo. This is the girl that Apollo bred with. So I'm gonna come up with a name for her, so it'll be easier to identify her. And she's got like more of a cow print. She's got the nice clean black and white bands on her but she has a little bit of black cow prints in between some of her bands. More, you see that black dot right there and a black dot right there. Kind of gives it the effect of like a cow print. So I'm thinking of a name, something that has to do with cows, but snakes. Uh, I can barely see the camera right now, but now female number one from Apollo's Clutch is going to Tennessee. So we won't need a hot pack or a cool pack. I just te check the temperatures. A high of 79, a low of 51, so it's perfect. And the other snake, meal number four from Xena's Clutch, it's going to Massachusetts. I can't say the word, Massachusetts, you know what I'm talking about. We got a high of 65 and a low of 49. So 49 degrees, it's fine for a snake. It's a short period of time, 65, perfect. So it's cool. In the box, it's gonna be a little bit warmer. So we won't need a heat or a cool pack. Now let me get my little screwdriver. We'll poke a hole in these boxes and we'll get the snake situated. Some people get crazy with the holes and put a bunch, but the more holes you put in, that outside temperature is gonna get in quicker. So. You don't want that outside temperature to really get in that fast unless the temperature is like 72 degrees only, which never happens. So you just want enough air for the snake to breathe. You just want to poke a hole. I use a screwdriver straight through the box. So you're gonna go just like that. You can see the screwdriver went all the way through. Make sure it goes all the way through. Oh, just like that, right through. So you got your two little holes on each side. Now it's ready to go. All right guys, I'm here with male number four from Xena and Edge's Clutch. This is gonna be the first baby I'll be boxing. So say goodbye to him. He's going to a great home. And when I do get updated photos from the beautiful people that I sell my snakes to, I'll definitely share them on Instagram. And I'll also, also show you in my videos update photos and all that stuff as they come in but say goodbye to meal number four just an amazing looking cali king
guys. Here's the little female F number one from Apollo's Clutch. Say your final goodbyes. This girl's going off to an amazing home. Look at that nice heart on the fore on the I said forehead on the head stamp. Have a safe travels. All right, guys, I'm off to FedEx. I'll be right back. So I wanted to show you real quickly Xena and Apollo's clutch for this 2023 season. Xena and Apollo bred this year, so something a little different. We got nine beautiful eggs, so I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what these babies look like. Alright guys, I just got back from FedEx. I dropped those two king snakes off. They're gonna be going to their new home, so let's just pray that they make it there safely. And then I got some milk snakes that I haven't even posted yet, plus a Tara Humara Mountain King. Now I'm hungry. I've been working all day, drinking coffee, came home, did a video. So I'm gonna go see what I'm in the mood for. I think I have some Indian food on the menu, so I'm gonna go do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll keep giving you guys updates, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I also wanna make a toast to Nicholas and Jeremy, two amazing people that I've been talking to. They're the two gentlemen that are going to be acquiring the snakes that I'm shipping out today, so here's for you guys.